In today's video, you will learn three simple methods to lower your ping in Warzone on any PC. So what you want to do for the first step is you want to head over to your Windows tab. You want to type out CMD. Then you want to run the CMD program. Then what you want to do is you want to type out this command and hit enter. Then once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to type out this command after and you want to hit enter. So once you typed out both commands, you should get the result of the ping 111 and you should get a minimum, maximum and average. So my minimum minimum is 3 milliseconds and my maximum is also 3 milliseconds and my average is 3 milliseconds and my ping 888 my maximum ping for 8888 is 21 my maximum is 21 and my average is 21 so what you want to do is you want to find the lowest one so the lowest one for me is ping 1111 so once you know what port numbers works for you and you get the lowest on you want to hit over just here then you want to right click on your network then you want to hit over to open network then you want to click click on the internet tab then you want to head over to change adapter options then you want to right click on your internet then you want to head over to properties then you want to find the internet protocol version 4 and you want to hit properties then what you want to do is you want to tick use the following dns server address so whatever address you got the lowest ping for you want to type out so if you got the lowest ping for the 1111 you want to type out this basically just here and if you got the most ping for 8888 you want to type out this so once you typed out the best one that works for you you want to click on ok so once you're done with that there's basically two things you need to download there's going to be a bat file and an exe file that i'm going to leave in the description you need to download those two files so that you can move on to the next step so once you download that file you want to run the low ping file and this is basically going to delete all the unnecessary things you have on your pc and it's going to hire your ping so once you're done with that you want to open up the tcp optimizer so what you want to do is your connection speed speed you want to heat it up all the way to 100 plus megabytes and then over here network driver selection you want to pick your driver so mine is the Realtek gaming driver and then you want to head over to advanced settings and then you want to just click on the custom bar so at the first thing we're going to type out 10 then at the bottom we're going to basically also type out 10 and by local priority we're going to put on 4 and the host priority we're going to put on 5 and the dns priority we're going to put that on six and then below that we're just gonna put on seven but the max syn retransmission we're gonna put that on two then this we're gonna leave on disable and then you want to hit over here and you want to turn this to 2000 and then you want to leave this as 300 and then just over here you want to just type out zero and then yeah you just want to click on the drop box and you want to click on the optimal one and then you want to go to the network throttling index you want to leave put this on disable if 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 so you want to head over to the system responsiveness you want to put that on gaming that's basically zero latency for streaming and all those stuff then you want to go to this section you want to click on the dropbox and you want to just go to the disable one then you want to go to the tcp no delay you want to put this on one basically enable one and then the under you want to just disable then in the network memory allocation you want to leave this on default and the size you basically just want to put that on default one then you want to head over to the dynamic port location you want to leave us on 65,534 and this year under you want to put on 32 click apply changes and this small little box will come up and then you can just click the the backup box in case anything damage or happens to your pc but nothing will happen don't believe me so what you want to do after that you just want to click the okay then you just have to click okay but anyway that was the video and if you have any problems with your low end pc or interest in boosting your fps in other games you can subscribe to this channel for more content thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video